Okay, so Brad and Maddie haven't been here in a long time, right? Brad, for Brad, it's been like 20 years. It's not that long. He was like, is the Dueling Dragons coaster still there? Okay. No, that's Hagrid's now. So they're gonna get to ride Hagrid's today for the first time and Velocicoaster for the first time. It also is like- And it's cold. 32 degrees this morning, so. We are wearing our woolies. I've got on, uh, got on my little Balbax hand gloves here, and uh, but it's beautiful. It's, it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it'll be 50 later on, but right now, it's in the high 30s. But we're going to head into Islands of Adventure and go ride some world-class roller coasters. Let's do it. So today's my last day with my annual pass. We got a lot out of it, but we can't afford it right now in between jobs. <laughs> so this is my last hurrah with some real coaster fiends. You guys are like Dollywood pros. Oh, Dollywood. I mean, they, they're real Disney pros, but they're like, you haven't been to Dollywood? So um, I'm showing them my favorite coasters. I mean, these two rides are like my favorite on the planet. They're, they're the craziest roller coasters. Um, but we'll have to do Dollywood sometime. I've heard they're the best rides like ever. <laughs> we'll have to do Dollywood sometime. But uh, they had a very sweet friend give them passes to Shout go. Shout out to James. Shout out to James. Thank you, James, for letting them uh, be a big kid with me today. Okay, I think they're gonna let non-hotel guests in at nine. Hotel guests got to get in at 8 a.m., so that's a pro tip. Bing! Right, Maddie? Yes. Pro tip, if you stay at one of the Universal Hotels, you get an extra hour in the park. Now at Disney, it's only like half an hour, right? All right. I am Hulk Smash. Okay, uh, Brad and Maddie are really fast walkers. I'm really impressed with this pace you have here. We are really moving. And you, and you, yeah, you're, we're here to ride. And you get here this early so that you can walk through an empty park like this. Um, this one team member, hi. <laughs> Woo, that's a cold way to start the day. Whoa. <laughs> right in the eyeballs. Okay, I'm realizing I should have stretched. We are really walking. The sunbirds really miles. move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did ride 50 miles on my bike, but Brad's favorite thing to do is just walk around Epcot in circles, over right? And over and That's his exercise. That's, that's I treadmill. love it. Yeah, I love that. Okay, uh, Hagrid's opens in two minutes at nine o'clock. There's the Velocicoaster. And Velocicoaster has a 45 minute wait, so we're figuring It'd be nice to not wait long for one, so I think we're gonna go to that one first. Okay. And it shouldn't be a heavy um, attendance day. Whoa! Okay, here it comes. Let's see here. Here it comes. Yeah. Here comes the launch. Up and over the top, and here's where you come out of your seat. Right here. And it sort of stalls. They call that the top hat, the top hat. Okay, always check the app. It, uh, it said it opened at nine and now it says Hagrid's delayed. Um, so this says 45 minutes. Let's do it. And there are metal detectors on this ride. So you've got to take off your phone case and batteries and you can't bring a camera on it. Um, they want you to take off a hat or glasses um, because it is intense and you will leave your seat more than 10 times. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Here you go, right over ahead. Now look at this upside down behind us. Amazing, amazing. This is quite a way to wake up. If you haven't had your coffee, this will uh, definitely wake you up. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Okay, so we did have to put on our mask to get in line. So make sure you bring your mask because we're gonna go indoors and that's the current rule. You used to not have to wear a mask indoors and now you do. Check the website. Okay, Brad said he always wanted to do Bradshaw line time. Okay, so what's your vote? It said 45. I say 31. 31, what do you say? Wow. I'm saying 25. Oh, so you guys are nestling right into me. 20, 25, 31. But if it's over 31, you win. That's true. So I, I think yours is the smartest one. If it's over you 30. know, I was on the prices right. I, I wasn't going to bid 32. That would, that would have been rude. Yeah. 
If it's over 28, Brad wins, okay? Bradshaw line time. We're rolling. Here we go. Okay, so I'm setting a notification alert when Hagrid, look at how blue my eyes are. Look at my eyes, Maddie. Oh, the lighting in here. They're very <laughs> blue. Um, when the ride opens, it's gonna text me that it's uh, available. So I've just set an alert, that's awesome. Oh yeah, getting closer. Face to face with these magnificent creatures in a way that you might have to go back in time millions of years to experience. Of course, guest safety is our paramount concern. Here are the raptors. Oh. Oh, one's missing, Brad. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, no big deal. It's gonna be fine. Nothing's wrong. Okay, let's look. We're getting close to the lockers here, and we're at 13 minutes. Here the locker. So, what did you guys think of that? That was crazy. That's an amazing ride. Is it really fun ride. Now look, riding a, I've never ridden a roller coaster with my friend Brad. And <laughs> Brad's never ridden, Brad's never ridden this. I and hope I, I hope I didn't say bad words. No, but he held his hands up <laughs> the whole time on a ride that he rode for the first time. Uh, the in, only in time the that got you no, was I, that heartline roll the over the water. At the very end. Brad was like, I'm okay, and he's like, oh, I might die on this one. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to the thing for a half a second. What did you Maddie was behind us? What did that you was, think? I mean, there's the part where you're going and you're then it like you think the ride's done and then it actually just speeds up even faster and I know. over the water. It was amazing. There are two launches and um we did that. So you just we were hover upside down. Is it here or wherever it is? Oh, you're just going There's upside There's a hang down. where you, you go upside down and then you come back. Down. You're waiting for it to go keep going and it goes see, back. You can see Hogwarts and it's amazing. They call that the stall. I yeah. So um, this ride is unbelievable. Ride it first thing in the day yeah. if you can because we were on and off in 30 minutes. Yeah. I, I think we were at 29 something by the time we were off of it. So we're gonna go to Hagrid's and hopefully it's open now, or we'll ride something else in uh, Wizarding yeah. World. Or we'll just come back. Or we'll just ride again. So I love these people. I love them. Now here's Ollivander's where you can have a wand choose you, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're exiting Hogsmeade to go to the uh, front of the Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure attraction entrance down here because everybody's got to go to their locker. That's the thing. If you're a Disney person, you're like, what's up with the locker? Why can't you just put your bag at your feet? But uh, it's a little more intense here. <laughs> The rides are not the same. They said they're still on delay, but it's gonna open soon. And this is a Bradshaw pro tip. Some people be like, it's not open, but if they're letting people on the line and I saw the roller coaster go by, they're testing it and it's gonna open soon. So um, you don't wanna get in this Bradshaw line. And, yeah, Bradshaw pro tip. You don't wanna get in line in half an hour when there's another half an hour of people in line. Okay, we're gonna do Bradshaw line time and we don't really know how long it's going to be because we're still on delay. But um, what do you say, Brad? I'm, I'm going to go 45. 45, what do you say, Manny? Probably like 30. 30 minutes. I'm going to say 37, right in between both of y'all. Okay. <laughs> 37. Let's see. It's January, not a bad time to be at a theme park. Unless you're cold, and then it's a bad time. <laughs> Here we go. Moving very quickly. Okay, I just got the notification and it says 100 minute wait. So um, I'm glad that we're not at the back of the line. So uh, in theory, this is the notification that it should be opening. So um, let's do it. Oh, this is cool too. It says you can also notify yourself when the line reaches 90 minutes or less. That's cool. Notify me, very cool. And here's where the pumpkin juice comes from at Hagrid's house. George says it looks like witch hats. 
-hmm. Okay, we're moving slowly but surely here. Okay, guys. We're at 121. <laughs> 121, we did it. Okay, Brad and Maddie, what did you think of Hagrid's Mystical Creatures motorbike adventure? I loved it. I loved it. I thought that was nice. There are a lot of surprises ride. in it, right? Yeah. Do you like that more than Velocicoaster? Yeah, I liked it more than Velocicoaster. I like the theming. I like how it's like fast and like... It's low to the ground, yeah. right? Yeah, uh -huh. the twists and turns. What yeah, did you Veloc think? Velocicoaster is a faster ride. This is a great ride. Yeah. The theming is amazing. It's really fun. Velocicoaster is all thrills. This one has animatronics, the drop. the drop. What did you think of the drop? Did you know that was happening in the dark? No. I mean, I knew there was one coming. I didn't know when it was going to happen. Right, right. Yeah, that the backwards you. is cool. You. Yeah, and they, yeah, the track switch is so fast. Like, all of a sudden you're going backwards. I was like, and then I don't it, think it, it speeds it's up backwards, backwards right? Yeah. Yeah. It literally, it's insane. It's, it's a insane. Really fast ride. It's insane. We'll put some footage from when I rode it with Georgia and Lindsay on here so y'all can see what this ride is like. But uh, eight year olds love it. Eight year olds do not like Velocicoaster usually. But this one is more of a family coaster, but it's yep. still yep. super intense. It's We're hungry. Ride. I think we need lunch and butter beers. Lunch yeah, let's do it. Mommy! 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 Okay, Brad's gonna make a phone call. We're gonna go in the three broomsticks and get some eats. Let's do it. Mask up, right? Yep. Let's do it. They have the meat lollipop here, the beef pasties, fish and chips, turkey leg, meat lollipop, the feast, the shepherd's pie, chicken and ribs platter. Okay, Jared got the chicken ribs platter. We got the beef pasties the beef and the pasties. salad for Maddie. I spilled, I spilled. <laughs> And Brad got the classic fish, and, fish chips. and chips. A little malt vinegar. We're hungry, it's time to eat. And I got the strawberry peanut butter ice cream because I haven't had that and Lindsay had told me about it. So um, naturally, George is at school and Lindsay's like exercising or something, so. <laughs> I devoured my uh, meat lollipop <laughs> plate. You did. And I'm eating the strawberry peanut butter ice cream. You guys have to try it. I just put some on my private thing. It's got a nice hint of peanut butter, but it looks like strawberry. It's a stronger peanut butter flavor than strawberry flavor, which is surprising because it's pink. You think it's gonna be like way more strawberry. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It's peanut buttery, right? It is. Yeah, you expect it to be like strawberry. It's pink. Peanut butter. Yeah. That's so strawberry. weird. Yeah. But it's not. It's not like super crazy strong peanut buttery. But um, it's definitely yeah. pink peanut butter ice cream. That's like food. Yeah. Um, I think Brad was impressed by the food here. The, the fish and chips could have been cooked more recently, could, right? Could have, could have been better. It was all right. <laughs> the stall then it goes over here and it thinks you're gonna go left and then it goes right it goes left no right 
Okay guys, um, I think we ought to go over to the other park, to Universal, and maybe to, um, what's it called, Diagon Alley, and go ride Escape to Green Gods, because Brad hasn't done that one, right Maddie? I'm in. Mm -hmm. Maddie did that one. I've done that one, that one's really good. Okay, let's go, it's actually right. warming up, it's like at least 50 now, it's lovely. Let's go. London bound, express straight to London. Okay, we are gonna hop park, so you do need a park hopper ticket to do this. Um, a two park passport, so we're gonna do it. 15 minutes, nice. That's pretty impressive. Hey, I've got a song for you guys. Come on, ride that train. Come ride. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I forgot I'm wearing my nine and three quarter shirt. Because here we are. All right. And then you see like the alien from Bart Simpson. You're like, what? Where am I? <laughs> All right, here we are in Universal Studios now. Heading over to Diagon Alley. All right. Brad was like, where are we going? You hear the bricks? All right, we'll just head straight ahead to the dragon and Gringotts Bank. Now I want more like butterbeer. Step foot in here, get you in the spirit. So we're gonna go put our stuff in the locker and go ride this one. Uh, you do? Come on. What's up? Now Matthew, I'm gonna put my camera up because you can't bring this on yes. the ride because this ride is intense, right? Yes. It's intense, good, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Welcome to Gringotts Bank. We're breaking into the bank. We just had a very awesome cast member, no team member. Um, they noticed my hat and said, ooh. And they let us get the express line. That is really sweet. And here's the bank. Uh, I'd say that was cool. That was amazing, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going down. Further. Further. Okay, guys, you ready? I'm ready. That was like nine minutes. Not bad at all. Need some SPF for that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Sunbergs, this is the ice cream shop. What did you think of Green Gods? It's really good. That was Isn't that really a really cool, cool ride? It's very unexpected. Every time I'm in there, I'm just looking up and around. And, like, and my favorite part is when you go into that movie screen, you're watching it and all the mist comes out. And then you just sort of fast forward into it. Yeah. So cool. Very big ride. Bigger than I expected. Okay, Brad, in my opinion, those are the three best rides in these two parks. Um, there's also Mummy, which is closed. There's also, um, of course, the Hulk and uh, Rip Ride Rocket, which is intense. I'm not that one is, that was crazy. Not into that one. Not awesome. But this has been awesome. Let's see. We might get into some more trouble. Who knows? Yeah. Hi there. I have a first timer here who's. Oh, nice. What's your name, oh we he's don't want to wake you up. I think he's asleep. Yeah, he's sleeping, right? Taking all the snooze, yeah. What's your name again? Uh, Brad. Brad. Very yes. nice. I'm Alec. Good to meet you, mate. Good to meet you. You're having a good, good day so far? He's just snoozing. So, so far. Good, good. Have you been inside Diagon Alley yet? Yes. Oh, yes. nice. What's your favorite thing in there? What'd you like? Well, we just uh, rode Green Guys. Oh, the bank. Yep. How are the goblins? Are they okay? Fantastic. They were not kind of as rude. cute as I was. They were, they yeah. Were... There's very rude. I mean, actually, I went to the bank the other day. I asked the goblin to check the balance. He 
pushed me over. That's how rude that is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys off to you then. What's next for you? I think we're heading over to Men in Black. I think. Okay. Oh, like Death Eaters? Yes, like oh, Death yeah. Eaters, yeah. Be careful, the answer to humans not be named. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a great Thank time, you. Thank you. See you later, <laughs> okay, so the night bus was asleep. He didn't want to talk to us. But um, I was just saying, this is where Jaws used to be. You see this building. But E.T. is the only ride left here from opening day. That's and right. it's because Steven Spielberg is like, you better leave that or I'm taking away Jurassic Park. You're not getting <laughs> any more of my properties. So we're going to do Men in Black, I think. Because, you know, what would Michael Jackson do? Wasn't he in Men in Black 3? Didn't he do that promo? You I remember that? Yeah. <laughs> this is Agent M. And now we got a little MJ going. Uh, uh, Brad, you hear this? Hi. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> it's the history album. Brad worked on the history album in New York City in 1994 so with it. Michael. And we got, we had Janet playing. They were playing uh, That's the Way Love Goes, and now Janet and Michael. Now we get Scream. Michael, this is Michael's little uh, God wink at you, just saying. There we go. Ride my ride, Brad. Men in Black 3. We get, Maddie, can we put a picture of Michael Jackson in Men in Black 3, like right here, as Agent M, Alien Attack. Now this is good uh, Disney trivia, right? You know what, what this is, right? That's from uh, New York World's Fair. It's from the 1964 World's Fair, where, where Small World debuted, and Carousel Progress, and like the Ford Skyway or something, yep. it's like dragged you along in a car. But that's from Corona Queens, and it's still sitting there in Queens to this very day. So Brad, correct me if I'm wrong, but speaking of Men in Black. Am I B? What did you, Am I B? What did you do for Will Smith? Didn't you work with Will Smith? I built a recording studio for Will Smith. Built a recording studio for Will Smith. Amazing, that's cool. Yeah. You're a pretty cool guy. It was, it was Calabasas home. Ooh, Calabasas, nice. Okay, after having all this fun, we had to get something sweet, right Mandy? We did. We Got a little vanilla. Drink. Braddy Daddy, I got this, uh, I'm a lard lad, you know, I had to get a donut. <laughs> this is, this would be a good, um, thumbnail right here. There it is. There he is. Hey, SpongeBob. You're the man. You're the sponge. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> okay, our last ride of the day might be E.T. because, you know, because E.T. Because he's extraterrestrial. Okay, we're going into E.T.'s toy closet. Georgia loves this ride. Totally loves it. 20 minute wait, you think? Ooh, the doors are opening, let's go for it. E.T. Um, um. Fly, fly! Time to go to outer space. Part of that ride is Ragdoll, that weird little thing. He's like, Ragdoll. It's weird, isn't that weird, the end of that? Steven Spielberg is like, yeah, yeah, this is what the ride will be. But it does clarify why E.T. wanted to come to Earth in the first place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why does he want to go home? That is totally creepy. <laughs> so funny. Look, it's, it's Beetlejuice. Very good, thank you sir, very nice. Very <laughs> you identified me, very soft. <laughs> <laughs> I only said it once though, you can't say it three times today. 
banana. Okay, we're on the search. We gotta say hey to Donkey. Because he's funny. I hope he's out here with Fiona. Let's see. Donkey looks like he's there. Yeah. No line. No line? There's no line for Donkey? Hey, Donkey's here. Awesome. There's no wait. What's up, everybody? Hey, Donkey. What's happening? We thought there was going to be a big line. Yeah, me too. I'm bored out of my skull. How's your day? We're good. We're having a great day. Where y'all from? Windermere. Windermere. Windermere, a whole 20 minutes away, <laughs> depending on the time of day. I didn't know you knew where Windermere was. Oh, I know where lots of things are. You know, I get out, fly around the surrounding areas, you know. <laughs> so, how's it going? What are you up to? Good day. Pretty good. Yeah? Still What's nice. been the highlight? This. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you win a picture with me. Go for it. Awesome. Thank you, Donkey. All right, bye. Thanks, Have All right. fun in Windermere among the lakes. Among the lakes. <laughs> He's good. That, that made my day. Amongst the lakes. Okay, Brad, I'm glad you got to meet Donkey. That last was a highlight. Isn't that funny? He's awesome. He knew what Windermere was. Yeah. Uh, last chance for Rip Ride Racket. <laughs> Brad's like, no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, they're putting up Shrek. It's done. They're going to replace that. Okay, Broadway Bradshaw's fans and in the studio with the MJ fans, thank you for joining us. And remember, if you like our vibe, you, you should, should subscribe. subscribe. <laughs>